Hello comrades, this is the Fed 2, it's Laika Laika. In Russia, camera shoots you. Today we're looking at a Russian rangefinder camera. This is a, a Fed 2, or more specifically a Fed 2E, but we'll get to that. Basically these Russian cameras are copies of Leica. Now of course there's some changes. They're not quite as refined in the machining and all that sort of stuff as the Leicas are, but this is a uh, rebranded Leica. Now all you Leica fanboys are going to howl the house down, I don't care. These were slightly rougher than the Leicas, but uh, it's more than just a copy. So the Fed 2 uh, is an early Fed, a copy of an early Leica. Most Fed 2s look different from this. They've got the early Barnack Leica top on them that's all stepped and everything looks like a battleship, <laughs> basically. Whereas this one is nice and clean and flat, more modern like a look. That's because at the end of the Fed 2 run, they started using the bodies of the Fed 3 with the Fed 2 internals. So this is the Fed 2E. It's sort of a hybrid. There's not as many around as the other Fed 2s. It's basically Fed 2 internals in a Fed 3 body. Still stamped though as Fed 2. So that's why this one looks a lot different than the other Fed 2s around. So anyway, I'm going to uh, test this, take it out for a bit of a spin, kick the wheels, stick a film in it and see what happens. Okay, I've got some Milford XP2 Super 400 ASA black and white film using my Fed 2E. Underneath you've got these lugs, flip up, turn around, That takes the back off. Okay, so this spool at the back can come out. You then have this sort of clip on it where you catch the film in. You have to slide the film in just behind that, like so, and that can then catch and hold the film and you put the whole lot back in the camera give yourself a bit of slack slide that back in do some winding make sure it catches that back is now ready to put back on now it slides up simply like that Make sure it's also caught up at the front there as well. And then turn these two around again. Film is loaded. Wind it on. Now the film counter is manual. It doesn't set automatically to zero or anything. So you have to find the zero point. Wind it up with the arrow mark at the front. And then you know you're on zero. Setting your shutter speed, which is here. You have to set that after you cock the shutter. So make sure the shutter is cocked, ready for firing, before you change your shutter speed. Otherwise you might break something in the mechanism. And when you buy this thing second hand, you have to hope that all the previous owners have been very careful with that. Anyway, there it is, locked and loaded. Now on my Fed 2, I have the Russian Indostar N61 lens. It's a 53mm f2.8. Okay, so the plan is, I've got black and white loaded up in this uh, Fed 2. Gonna jump on my bike, go into town, start taking photos. Strap it all up. Okay.
All right, so I'm at the Rotunda in middle of Mount Evelyn. It's the back of the library there, community room. This is the Warburton Trail going through the town. It used to be the railway line until it got decommissioned and now everybody wants to train back, but too bad. Progress, they call it. Start by uh, taking some shots around town, just of uh, some of the buildings and that here. Now this thing has no light meter, so what am I going to do? Well, I got an app. So yeah, there's lots of these apps around. I'm not going to recommend one over the other. But uh, the one I use, you have to choose your ISO to match your film. So uh, I'm running 400, so I've put this on 400. And then you point it in the general direction of what you want to photograph. And down the bottom, you have matching shutter speed and f-stop. So if you're running the Sunny 16 rule anyway, at 400 ISO, your shutter speed will be set at 500th of a second for just about everything. And this will tell you your uh, aperture value, which in this case is about 5.6. Let's get this party started. So after a few days of uh, shooting, took the film down to Croydon Camera House, dropped it in in the morning. By the afternoon, they processed it, scanned it, sent it back to me. Fantastic stuff, great service. So what I'm going to do is show you the pictures. First, straight out of camera, and then my version, which is a little bit tweaked. So there you go, what do you think? The uh, Fed 2 with film cameras, the body is just a light proof box. That's all that's really required of it. Uh, unless it has something like the shutter speeds built into it. So long as those things work, the body is just a light proof box. The heavy lifting is done by the lens. The quality of your images, the sharpness, the contrast, all that sort of stuff is the lens at work, not the box. Don't be worried too much about the name on the box. Check out a good lens. The box itself, you have to like it I suppose, so form and function, pick something that you enjoy holding and using. It might be the size, the weight, the shape, the design, what feels good in your hands and makes you want to go out and use it. That's the right camera for you. Okay, it doesn't matter what name is on the front, how it feels in your hands, that's the important thing. But whatever camera you get, pick it up, go for a walk and have fun. Ciao.